Welcome back everyone, we're here in the lab. We got so much stuff to do today, I'm so happy. Are you guys happy? Because I'm really happy. I'm ready to get started. I got this really cool idea. I'm so happy. Are you guys happy? Did I just ask that? Can't spell slime without smile. So as you may or may not know, if you didn't watch last episode, this is gonna be the office section of the lab right here. And I've already got it kind of started. This is gonna be a little cubicle room, but this part is going to lead into more offices. And what better way to make offices than to make The Office, you know? <laughs> the NBC show, Netflix show. The Office is one of my favorite shows of all time. And when I thought of Office, I'm like, holy crap, I have to make this. So I'm going to remake the actual Office set and actually use it for my lab. What? So for any of you that don't watch The Office, you're probably gonna be really lost when I'm talking about some stuff. Um, because I'm going to be giving you like the idea of where I walk in at and all that. If you don't watch it, I'm sorry, but you can just tag along to make some normal looking offices <laughs> with me. Um, but if you do watch The Office, uh, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying. So this is going to be the door that goes out of the office. You know, Michael's office is right here. Pam's desk is right here. This is going to be the door that you walk out, you know. Um, so... I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not actually going to like look at, I know it pretty well. So yeah. Okay. So I got the layout of the office. If you do watch it, let me know if this looks pretty accurate. Um, I'm going to be going with concrete because I want it to match my lab. So it's not going to be extremely, they have like tannish walls. This isn't going to be the final desk, by the way, it's just to mark it. But um, I think I got it. I think I got it just about right. Does it, does it look like, I think this is a good enough size for Michael's office here. This is the conference room. Um, this leads to that weird hallway where Dwight starts the fire. This leads back to the annex. Over here, Jim does have an office, but I'm not going to go that far into the season, so I'm just going to have it as the open area. And then the accountant's area over here, and then there's a door over here. Actually, to assist me with this layout, I'm going to go ahead and lay out all the desks I can. I think the best color is oak. Do you guys like this sky pack, by the way? I use it. I don't even even know if like you guys like it. I like it. Let me know if you don't. I'll take the majority vote. <laughs> I've been still working on the office over here. Um, I think it's almost like the like you know, the the main part of it is almost done. Um, as you can see, I kind of put in where all the tables and people sit at. Of course, um, I think the ceiling looks alright. I gotta figure out what kind of lighting I'm gonna do. I think it looks alright. There's some spots that are kind of iffy. So as you know, this is Pam's desk. Uh, this is the empty desk, this is Jim's, Dwight's, Phyllis, Andy, Stanley, <laughs> uh, Creed, Meredith, Kevin, Oscar, and Angela. And then, of course, there's an annex and a break room back here, but I can't go that far because it breaks into this part of the lab, which is okay. I'm not going to go that far anywhere. This is all I want is just this main office section. So I just got to finish up the ceiling here, and then we got to decorate it a bit. Not quite sure how I'm going to do lighting in here. I could use end rods, or I could do it like this in here. I think this would be a more appropriate, but I don't think I have a whole lot of sea lanterns left. I had another dream about this world. I think this is my third dream I've had of where me, myself, is like in this world, which is so, it's just the most unreal dreams I've had. I'm trying to remember what it was exactly about. It was somewhere around the mansion. Oh, I wish I could remember it. It was very weird, as they most are. Most of them are, I mean, um, for some of you newcomers, I, I remember my first dream I've had on this world, and it was when I took a long break, and then I had a dream one night that I walked up to the front of my house right here, and it was snowing, and my house looked abandoned, and it was so dark on the inside, and I opened the door, and the planks were all, like, falling out, and there was snow covered in here, and it was black with just like cobwebs and then I woke up and then that's when I knew right there I needed to upload that day and I think I uploaded that day <laughs> that was probably one of the most surreal dreams I've had of this world so resources are kind of running dry again oh that's what I, I lost that map right there I think I lost that in that nether accident <laughs> dang it um which is my ocean map but I know how to get out there it's all good uh so currently there's a bug in the game hey look these don't look enchanted but they are that Efficiency 4 with a haste 2 beacon is actually an insta mine, which is actually really nice, meaning I don't need efficiency 5 right now. And I got 33 levels, so I'm going to go ahead and make a. What's that? Minesweeper. Need another pick. So touch with. 
Okay, that'll do. <laughs> no matter how worthless the pick is, you always have to name them. Well, I'm kind of going against what I just said, but I really want unbreaking on here, so I might as well just go ahead and make an efficiency five. Okay, so up next is the floor, and we're not using quartz, because that is mainly for the lab, like the work sections of the lab. We need this, because this is what matches the office carpet the most, and it looks the best in these kind of um, office areas. I'm not gonna have this trim around here, because I could barely even finish it. I still gotta get three more blocks. But this one's gonna be tough too. I don't have a lot of wool, and this requires light gray. And the best way to get light gray is if you have bone meal, and squid ink, squid bags, yeah, bags of squids. And those are kind of hard to get, so the other best way, look, I made these, do you like those? Oh, I think they look so good. I put light under them so they kind of glow a bit. I put another one over there, <laughs> is I think the white flowers. Aha, I found it, my infamous flower chest. I stuck all my flowers in this shulker chest and left it over here and lost it for a long time. These are the flowers I need. Oh my, I have a lot of them too, that's nice. What is in here? Oh my gosh, I got a lot of useful stuff. What the? I need those. I love it when you're working indoors and it's raining in Minecraft. It's probably the most coziest feeling ever. Um, so you know, we built this last episode, still not really gonna tell you what it's about yet. It's not that I don't have anything, but I do. <laughs> Just not telling you yet. Uh, I'm going to start building the next room over here. This is going to be a block research room. I like making little study areas like this. This is going to be another quite small one. Um, might go a few more blocks that way, but I'm going to have tables in here. And there's going to be unique blocks in these. And this is just going to be a room that looks like we study blocks. Well, it's not going to look like it. We're actually going to study blocks in here. So, Oh, hey, Bob. The place ain't finished yet, so you can't really put in an application yet. But uh, you should stop by the mansion sometime. I got this new wine cellar. Oh, I was like, are you not going to shoot me? Are you part of the raid? There's no way. It's too far. For all the ones that don't like me cutting a whole lot. This is all you're missing out on. This and just like a little bit of... Crap. This and just a little bit of building. Oh, now I'm... Oh, I needed that one. Uh -huh. I can't remember. Is that... No, that raid bar... No, oh, that raid bar still looks the same. Oh, this is what I love about this game. You just come up with so many unique things. Like the beacon, for example. Bob, you're still... <sighs> Go to the magic. I told you to. But like the beacon, for example. This is a thing of power in this world. And why not... I guess use it for other power sources as well. So this, um, I was kind of experimenting here, but as you can see, these are the, uh, the type of tools, I guess you can say, that is going to be inspecting said blocks in this room. Who knows what blocks we're gonna be studying? Maybe that one. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Put some of these down as if there's like some oils in them. Um, hmm, where should this go? I want this to be like the power source for this room. Oh, it's so nice to have rockets back. Uh, I think I've been suffering from withdrawal, not having them. I went to my old spawner, and I actually had like 11 pieces of gun. Gunpowder is so rare for me. That's like my... Ah! Speak up, the devil. Where have you guys been? I've been... Uh-oh. Don't... Make the... De oh. Oh. I'm so annoyed right now, because I know just not a few clips ago, I found 26 end rods, didn't I? Yeah, over there at the training course. I found nine in my chest over here. I use it, but what did I do with those end rods? I need them, and I can't find them. They just disappeared from my life. Whatever. Okay, game. They in here? No. They're in here. No, I'm just kidding. They're in here. No, I'm just kidding. They're in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're in here. I'm just kidding. They're in here. No, I'm not going to go through it. They're in here. No. Son of a gun. But anyway, I've been working on it. I like how it turned out. The only thing that is not going to be finished in it is the floor. <laughs> because I think the whole floor of the whole place, except for the office, is going to be quartz because it just looks the best. And, um, yeah. I kind of like it. I'm going to put a piston door here as well. Uh, I put blue stained glass here. I love the way it turned out. It looks very technical. 
I went with end rods for the lights in here. Um, now, I wanted most rooms in this place to have a purpose. So eventually, I think I should implement a way that this room will have a purpose. But as of right now, it's really just looks like as if this is a place where you drill into blocks and see what's inside. No, <laughs> um, well, kind of like that. But I, I like how it looks like as if that's the power source for it. You know, me being nerdy, making a lab. It's going to happen. Okay. Down here. Hi, Piggy. How the heck did you get in here? Hey. <laughs> no. How are these guys doing, by the way? You guys doing good? Yeah, I think they're all still hiding in their houses because of this raid glitch. Who knows? Anyway. Oh, boy. Is that a mistake? I think it was. I need to move all this over here because I have an idea for this corner. Let's do it. That's it. I decided over time of all the stuff I've had in my world, I've eventually wanted to make like a mass storage because you have no idea how much of this stuff right here I have in my world. And that's where we're going to put it in this lab. Just have one giant warehouse underground full of chests, full of cobble, dirt and stone. Just the one place where I can bring it all. Look at that. Just a solid chest of stone. Oh, we're going to do it. Not today, but we will. Okay, now that I got all that put away. Luckily, I built a beacon here once, so it's already cleared out. It's not going to be a big room. I want to do this in most corners in this place. We're going to have lots of corners. This lab, by the way, plans on having a lot of hallways this big. We are probably about 10 to 50. No, I'm about 20% of the layout so far. So this place is going to be big, okay? Okay. I love the way this corner room turned out. Now, I don't know what it's going to be yet. I think it's going to be some sort of office. Um, but that, just time will tell. The more I build these rooms, the more I'll find uses for them. Like, I already have uses for those, but I'm just not telling you that. But what do you think? I, it just, oh, it just fits so well. Added some black and yellow here to kind of show, like, caution because it is... You never know. Forklift drivers come through here. They might clip the glass. <laughs> no. Um, but I really like it for some reason. Maybe I can put another opening right there. But I think this might be some sort of office or help desk. Or maybe a storage room. There might be a bunch of barrels in it. I don't know. But I really like it. I'm really digging this black glass too. I want to start using that more. And one thing I really like is this trim up here. Because in a lot of areas in this place i'm going to have this color wall but i'm going to start using a slab like that but then using a different colored block right here let's say blue or green maybe green for the environment section i, I want to start color coding stuff i think that'll be good so the last thing i think i want to work on in this episode is these things uh this is just an eyesore right now that is way too big yeah i mean that takes up a lot of space i want to bring it down to one wide not two by two you know what i kind of like that one a little bit better it is a little tall and tuby looking like it's actually part of the lab or something like it's transporting items but once i put something in here i think it'll look good i gotta make sure whatever i put in there though is like too tall because one tall would look a little strange yeah yeah i'll fix that later i need to get more end rods and more Quartz, and I do not feel like making another trip today. Is that going to fix itself? Why is that so weird? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's really good once I have one there, there, another one over there, and there. And they're basically just going to be displaying things that we're studying in this place. What the? Don't do that. This room is very strange, by the way. I think it's a bug in the game right now. Because I have... All these slabs on the top covered with dirt, even on the sides, everywhere. But when it becomes daytime, it comes lighter in here. So I couldn't figure that out. I think it might be a bug, but everything is covered. I don't know. Today's comic question of the day comes from Phantom Skarks. Do you think aliens are real? And do you think the aliens are in Area 51? Interesting. By the way, the raid went away. It said raid expired. But, um... I know I have a lot of young viewers, and I don't want to like ruin your childhood expectations of believing stuff, but if you're asking me straight up what you did, no, there are no aliens in Area 51, but there are aliens out in the universe. 
But when I think of aliens out in the universe, I don't think of humanoid-like people. I think of bacteria and life forms of... Oh, looky there! <laughs> Different types of life forms like that. How Earth evolved, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, I'm taking an Earth science class right now and we're learning about astronomy. It's my favorite class. <laughs> like, when I take this class, I just think this is what I want to go into. But... I don't know if I see see I'm probably gonna get my business degree and then go back to college for like astronomy or something like that I'm not sure um because like even something that just blew my mind that I learned in this class just uh the other day the teacher to hold, told me to hold my thumb up to the sky I'm trying to but my hands are blocked so you hold your thumb up like at full arm's length up into the sky right now. I don't care if you're in your room, just do it. <laughs> and if you're looking at your thumbnail, there was a picture taken by the Hubble Space Telescope zoomed in so much that it was just covering the area of the sky the size of your thumbnail that you see right there. And within that picture was over a thousand galaxies in that little speck of the sky. And you know galaxies hold billions and billions of stars. <laughs> if you can just think of that for a second. Thousands of galaxies in that little thumbnail. Billions of stars in each of those galaxies. And we're just one world in our solar system within our galaxy of the Milky Way. Now, if you don't think there is life out there other than us, you... I guess you just haven't really thought about it. <laughs> um, that's not true. You can believe what you want, but that is my belief and why I think there's life out there. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make an astronomy place in here. We're gonna find life out there. Oh man, they better add a space mod. You better bet we're gonna make a rocket ship on here and fly to space. Oh well. <laughs> See you guys later. Oh my god. Bye bye.